The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers? Hey, I'm Geekers Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? I just came back from Target. I've had my eye on this bad motherfucker for, God, at least since around the holidays. And it's been 25 bucks, and to be perfectly honest with you, at 25 bucks, I think it's worth it. But I was on Target today because I got a gift card for being a cool bastard at work. And um, I saw that this was only $12.49, at least locally here at my Target. Um, but I did see that online. So you could probably have it shipped to you for that price. Plus, of course, whatever shipping or whatever, which would probably bring you right back to the original price. So I don't know. I always thought he was pretty cool. I don't know if he was $25 cool. I, it is worth that. I mean, the, the quality of this thing uh, is $25 worth. Uh, but I'm kind of cheap that way. And it's kind of like one of those... Do I spend the money on it versus I know I don't have room for it, but I really want it? You guys know the drill. But Babu Frick is my favorite character of the sequel trilogy. No joke, hands down. Dude didn't have hardly any scenes, but he helped him find this bad, bad, bad bastard. The Wayfinder. You haven't seen that, have you? <laughs> I haven't finished building it, though. But regardless, $12.50, I could not resist. So we needed a new trash can anyway. So up to Target we went. And it's funny, the shelf said it was $14 and change. And I showed her a screenshot of the price at the online. And of course, you know, Target, they're going to make you happy because they want your monies. So she made it $12.50 regardless. So I've already taken them out of the packaging. So let's look at the packaging real quick. This is actually really neat. It's his workshop, kind of like a diorama with all kinds of droid parts. I mean, after all, he is a droid smith. He's more of a, uh, I would say he's part of like a, a chop shop or whatever. Um, the packaging looks really great. It's got a nice little uh, info card in the back like you would get in the back of an actual action figure. I'm debating on whether or not I want to cut this out and frame it. To be honest with you, I love Babu Frick. Um... But this would not be altered if I did that. This is an insert that slides out. So if I were to do that, it wouldn't it wouldn't mess up this as a display piece. The only thing I have, not a gripe with, but I'm questioning, is why Darth Vader's on this. And you know what? That brings up a very interesting point. That I think even <laughs> Lucasfilms know that the uh, sequel trilogy can't sell on its own for the most part, especially now that The Mandalorian's out and actually doing something that they're still going to brand this shit with iconic legacy characters. But it's like episode three Vader, I think. So I don't understand what's going on there. But either way, the packaging's really nice. You would think this would be something that would be at the Disney store, and it does say Disney. And oh, by the way, this is from Mattel. How cool is that? Um, but no, I got it at Target. Apparently it's a Target exclusive. So enough of the packaging. Let's look at Babu himself. Uh, he's about nine inches tall. The head is full vinyl. It's a nice heavy vinyl. The problem is, is it, it gives him a hard time sitting. Look at that. I was able to get him to sit on the first try. Maybe because I broke him in. Um, his legs don't really have anything as far as being able to pose. But the arms do have wires in it. Which is pretty cool. He comes with this like little welder tool torch thingy. Um... Looks very cheesy compared to the actual prop. I may try to find a, uh, a file and make him a proper one. Um, let's see, anything else I really want to talk about other than I think the sculpt on his face is pretty rad. Uh, but I would like to get a more realistic looking tool. I don't know what the fuck it was. Is it a welder? I don't know. Um, the whole thing's plush except for the head like I just said. And here's the best part of him. Black, black. Uh oh. Yep, a joint is ready. Hello, I bubble freak. <laughs> <laughs> this dude rules. I think that I think the head looks awesome. The uh, the helmet part. I don't know if that's part of his actual head. Looks awesome. I'm noticing now. I got some kind of a glue blob here. I wonder if that was supposed to be for this. I don't know. 
Either way, we can clean that up. The only thing I see that he doesn't have are the whiskers. They are sculpted into the face, but I bet you if I got some burlap or something like that and glued some whiskers on here, that would hide that and look great. They did some weathering to the front, but nothing really to the back, so I think that's going to need... Um, little alterations and of course he's too clean so I may dirty him up but aside from that this nine inch half plush half vinyl guy he's gonna look amazing on display I absolutely love this character I I think I like him more than this dude right here but overall at $24 I still would have been uh this pleased with it but especially at $12 and 50 cents you can't you can't go wrong with it. Babu Frick rules. And it's pretty cool that Mattel's jumping into the Star Wars thing. I know they've probably made things in the past. Um, but Hasbro's been dropping the ball left to right. At least in my opinion. I I'm really frustrated with them. But regardless, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Have you picked this guy up yet? I'm going to look to see if there's any altering videos or any mod videos or um, whatever to see if anyone... Like this ton of the child, the one I just showed you, uh, Grogu. A lot of videos of people uh, modding that bad boy to either look a little more realistic or give it articulation or even feet in some cases, you know. Um, but I'm going to look to see if there's any on this while I upload this video. But guys, go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback to The Creep is Positive. Thank you always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Guys, here's a link down below where you can help in the battle against Alzheimer's. Please, please click on that link donate today or share the link maybe someone you know can donate not everyone can and if you can't that's quite all right so please share the link maybe someone within your circles has a few extra bucks you know a cup of coffee's worth whatever but guys i really do appreciate your support every year in this and we are barely into it and you guys have already smashed that goal and then some and i from the bottom of my heart i can't thank you guys enough but again, thank you always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Creep it real. Uh -oh. <laughs> that was a weird one. <laughs> and bye-bye.